Hey everybody, welcome to the lovely countryside. I'm just going for a walk to get some fresh air. I'm still waiting for bike parts to turn up and I'm hoping they're going to be home by the time I get back. Uh, but fingers crossed. Anyway, I want to talk about today about this subject which has been brought up quite a lot recently because of the COVID restrictions in the UK, which is that we aren't allowed to ride motorcycles for fun, for recreation, because it's seen as unnecessary travel. But a lot of people have been saying, well, I want to be able to ride a motorcycle and I consider it to be exercise because exercise is allowed. Now obviously I am a biker, I really want to ride, I really want to get out there and go for a ride and I also think that the risks of transmitting Covid between people when you're going on a solo ride is negligible, less than going shopping for instance, but the risks it, uh, of getting hurt and ending up in hospital when they haven't got the space or you know, you don't really want to be in hospital yourself at the moment that's the sort of more truthful side to it but just lately there's been a few articles and things going around where people have been asking you know well if if riding a motorcycle beyond covid is it considered exercise and apparently the answer is yes riding a motorcycle is considered exercise <laughs> um as you could well the reported figure when you google it is that you can burn up to 600 calories per hour now, I, I'm not so sure about that myself. 600 calories per hour. I've looked into it. Running, you'd be lucky to get up to about those sorts of numbers. So riding a motorcycle sat down. Uh, even riding a push bike, you're only around 750 calories an hour if you really, I guess you're really going for it. Normal gentle cycling is going to be a lot less than that. So I do not believe this 600 calories per hour of riding um, because if that was true, I would be a lot thinner than I am now. So I kind of find myself in the middle. I understand where people are coming from when they say, well, if you compare A to B, this is more risky, yet this is allowed. And this is just something that happens because of vast reaching rules, which are you know, simply put in place with no, no nuance for different situations. I also understand the standpoint of, look, we're in a pandemic. If we just stop doing things, even if your ride isn't risking anything, Yours might not, but if everyone does it, then it becomes a problem, you know? I mean, some people might say, well, the reason it's not allowed is because riding a motorcycle is a dangerous thing to do. And inherently, it is, and it isn't. It depends on the rider. But if we're going to average it out, then yes, it's just like bikes. You know, you're 16 times more likely to die on a bike, something like that. You're also a lot more likely to get hurt in a 30 mile an hour crash, you know, compared to a car driver. If a car driver has a 30 mile an hour shunt, they might have whiplash. They're not going to hospital, most likely. 30 mile an hour on a bike, you're probably going to hospital. And as I say, for, for their reasons, they don't want you there. And for your own reasons, I personally wouldn't want to be in a hospital at the moment, you know? I wouldn't be as far away from any chances of getting near COVID as possible. Even though I know going to the shop to buy food is my number one risk, because that's where I get the closest to people um, and the most amount of different people. So I understand both sides of the argument. But I don't understand anyone trying to say that riding a motorcycle is, it's exercise. I need to do it because it's exercise. Well, you can also go for a walk, like I am now. If you want exercise, if you want to get out of the house, you know, your bike parts haven't turned up yet, you're getting frustrated, you've done all the work you can do, go for a walk. This is exercise. Fresh air. No one's around, thankfully, at the moment. The most likely thing I'm going to catch here is a uh, goose crap in the head. If these fly over me, please don't. Oh look, the ones on the beach are talking to the ones flying by going, Hey buddy's over here! And they're like, we ain't your friend buddy! Or are they? No, they are, they're coming back around. Don't crap on me. Now, obviously, if you want something to be a reality, if you just want to go and ride, people have a habit of just saying, yes, do that, do that. Not thinking about the, the, the surrounding implications and stuff like that, which is it's completely normal. It's completely human to do that. But when you see publications sort of using those figures of, you know, 600 calories an hour and stuff as an excuse for exercise, I, I just don't feel like it's accurate. I mean, I've done what I can do to check it, and it just seems implausible I mean, all right moto gp rider yes 600 calories an hour i can easily see that maybe even more but just riding i don't think so this is where i'd love to know what your thoughts with this are like 
you have to accept that riding a bike is more risky than going for a walk. But equally, I can accept that going for a ride on a bike isn't that risky compared to going shopping. So where are you with it? What do you feel? Even though I could use my work as an excuse to do anything on a bike I want because, you know, oh, I'm test riding this Triumph, this is work, so I can just ride wherever I want to do the test ride. I could use that line, but I'm not doing that because I don't think that's the point. The point of this is trying to help the country. You know, being a citizen of a country gives you benefits, but with that, there's responsibilities to try and do the same for others. You know, where I live, I've not been riding my bike and I've seen someone locally or a couple of people paragliding quite regularly and I'm like surely that's much more risky than riding a bike but you know <laughs> is it allowed isn't it allowed do they care I guess they don't and the exact same way you can say well he's not near anyone he's as far away from anyone as he can be he is you are factually correct but he is in a riskier situation I suppose it's the same as saying well you could say you know going for a walk is allowed but parkour's not because statistically more people end up in hospital from from doing parkour than walking. Okay, that's not probably right. It might actually be if you work out the, the maths properly so you realise how many more people walk than do parkour. But you see my point. Now truthfully and thankfully this is probably not even going to be an issue much longer because it looks like in March we'll probably be allowed to, to go out. Uh, one of the rules that has been stipulated there that I've seen is you're allowed to go and meet with someone in a certain place, a recreational place, and spend some time with them. Additional to exercise, which would give people the loophole the allowance to jump on their bike go for a ride you know <laughs> stand somewhere for 30 seconds this is a great view take a picture ride back again um, unless they put any like no across borders or anything or boundaries i would say that that pretty much is go for a ride for uh, for fun so as i say there's no point of us getting really heated debates about this because it's probably not going to be an issue much longer but i would like to know where people's thoughts on that were and did anyone else question that 800 calories per hour riding a motorcycle doesn't seem right to me it just doesn't right, well thank you very much for watching please remember to hit that like button subscribe if you're new here i'm on my way to 100k and if you'd really like to help support this channel please consider checking out the merch links in the description or join my patron for many other benefits you can see all that information on my patreon now for regular viewers, just to warn you, I've got a couple of bismuth videos coming up. Don't worry, I'm getting back to the XJ6. When I get home, I hope the parts are there and then I can get on with it. Bye bye.